We're now going to try to work towards the fast break, which is called bingo. And when anyone ever used to ask me what was our primary man-to-man -man offense, I would say fast break. Primary zone offense, fast break. Primary pressure offense, fast break. The thing you see a lot in basketball today, which is hard to understand, a team will come down and score. The other team will not even know who's going to inbound the ball. They will let the team set up their pressure defense, and they've got to work like mad just to get the ball over half court and try and play five on five. In basketball today, if every possession you're going to play five on five, your chances of success are not very good. You've got to get a numbers advantage, and that's by building a fast break. So let's look at some of the drills which will help you to build a very effective fast break. Here's Coach Joe Wooten with his O'Connell team again. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to go with what we call two-man drills. We really feel like we're a strong fast break team, and there's a couple things that we think teams try to do to counter that fast break. So we're going to practice some things that teams might do to counter the fast break. So I'm going to first get Dave Eismeyer out here. Dave, hustle on out, okay? And let me have uh, Kendall on the sideline right there. If I could get everybody else in a line behind them, anyone with a ball is on the baseline, anyone without a ball is over behind Kendall. Let's go, hustle up. Let me get rid of some of those balls, guys. Okay, maybe we can run some of those balls. Half and half. Okay, what we're going to do is this. The first thing we're going to do is Dave's going to throw himself a pass. He's going to rebound it and think about how we rebound the basketball. We're going to take the ball and go through the pass. Coach Wilson is going to be right here. We have found that a lot of times the opposing team will jump the rebounder. So Coach Wilson's going to do that. He's going to foul the man. So what we want to do, Dave, is we want to catch and we want to square up. Okay, so we're going to square up hard, and he's going to foul you. You may be able to take a hard power dribble and outlet the ball. Kendall's job is to get his butt to the sideline so he can see the entire court. So number one with our fast break is we have to work on the outlet. I know that seems basic, but if you can't do that, you can't fast break. I'm a huge believer the most important thing in the fast break is the trigger. If you can't trigger your fast break, you're not going to be successful. So it's very important to trigger. So this is going to go after a rebound. So Dave's going to do that. As Dave does that, Kendall's going to receive the pass. Dave, one second. Kendall's going to dribble full speed up the court. He's going to jump stop at the elbow on the foul line. Dave's going to trail the break, catch it, protect with the offhand, and finish the layup. We try to have the players... When they sprint, as Kendall goes through, to touch what we call the cross, come right here and touch where the half court and sideline meet to make sure they're wide, come in for a nice, easy, strong layup. Let's see us do that real quick. Everyone else freeze. He throws himself a pass. Foul him, square up. Good. Full speed. Very good. Excellent. Dave, let's try to get that off hand up, building that habit, okay, protecting that ball. So the idea is we see that. Now, Dave and Kendall on the far end. We have another ball. So we'll have Moe step out. Same thing. Devin's going to be there. Come on, Dave and um, Kendall the other way. The other way. The other way. Good. Outlet it. Good, good. Full speed. Switch it up every time. Good job. Good finish. 